So I was um, making the bed this morning, and um, in the corner of the sheets where it had been tucked into the into the bed, there was you know it was the sheet had all crumpled up and created this really interesting folding, pillowing pattern. And I thought, you know, I love that sort of, you know, that look of that softness. And I thought, I wonder whether I could get that look with resin by kind of sculpting it. Like, like you do with watercolour when you put um, glad wrap over the top of it and you get a sort of a, a folding and it's actually almost like a print, really. Um, and I thought that's, that's sort of like the to create a, an effect of a real softness with a really hard material. So I thought, I, you know, as resin is, is hard, so to create a sort of a pillowy look. So you see, there I go. did very subtle so there's clear resin and white resin very simple it's quite thick so now what I want to do is I've got some this is just a, um, a resin pigment and I've just mixed it with a bit of alcohol and I'm just going to flick this there's no resin in this it's just, it's just pure pigment and alcohol and I'm just going to flick it Just a little bit. All right, just a little bit. Now I've got a piece of plastic. It's just a piece of it's quite a thick plastic, you can't go too thin because I think it will get stuck. You won't want to get it off. Now I'm just going to scrunch this. I'm moving around my getting off. And I'm just going to push it, put it down on it. And see if I can. Get some hills and valleys, and this it, it's, it'll stick to the edge. And we'll see whether that works. <laughs> Well, it's the next day, and it's not quite cured. It's still, you know, I can just tell it's still a little soft. But I, just, I can't wait, so I'm just going to take it off. But, mm, and I think it's interesting. It's pulling a bit the plastic a bit. Oh, it's a sort of an edge. Anyway, when I get a bit of leftover resin, I'll fill some of those areas and just see what it looks like. It's interesting. It'll make a really interesting um, texture. You know, so I'm looking for an interesting texture for a background. That's one. Cool. Working on my little experiment again, and I'm going to do some little pools inside those recesses where the folds are. I'm just using various colours.
Okay, I just went out and um, I sand. I have. I've just got an electric sander, and I sanded off the the hills. You know, the tops. The tops of that texture that I got. You know, like you know, the original texture was sort of like that, and then I put the paint. Uh, sorry, not the paint. I, I put resin into the valleys there, and so when that was dry today, so then I took it outside and I sanded that flat. So you sort of it would it cut back into the white those white raised areas and expose more of the white areas and that looks really interesting, doesn't it? So that's a really interesting surface texture that um, I'm definitely I've got a, a few things in mind for this and this one I'm going to try with some blues because I'm thinking about a, a surface. Uh, the water, the ocean, but that's mm, interesting. Good. I've mounted this tile onto a piece of MDF board, and I just put a bit of um, undercoat just on the outside edge, and then I've glued the tile in the centre with liquid nail. Now I'm going to mix some colours. that gold, uh, sorry, it's a copper, it's a copper pigment. So it actually popped, it popped out of the red when I mix it in with the red. That's really nice, I like that. So I'll be putting another layer of clear over that when that's, when that's finished. I don't know if you can see the shine on it, but it looks like a Oh, they're getting big, bigger. Oh, wait and see what happens. Right, after I waited for this to cure, this area around here to cure, I've just put a little bit of handwork over the top of the tile on top. I've actually made sure that I've joined that sort of white side of the tile. I have painted it to match the top and I've also touched up a few areas and added a little bit more of the red so that the design works better as a whole, I needed more red. Um, it's a bit hard to see in this light but I'm going to put a clear layer of resin over the top of this so I'm about to wall it. I also have put painted the sides of it, if you can see, I've painted them with the same colours, I even used some of that bronze um, pigment and added it to a red acrylic so that I get the same colour. And I'm just going to put a clear layer of resin over the top of that one. Okay, I'm just pouring the, a final layer of resin. Um, the last thing I'll be doing is just touching the sides up with wiping some clear resin when this has gone off. So it'll have a, a thick side on it, but I'm not going to do it that deep, it's just going to cover the top and roll over the edges.
that really intensified that red paint that I put on. Um, so, it, so it's brought the colour up, which is good, which is what it needed to, to working with the rest of it. Okay. Well, I'll show you when it's completely finished. It's interesting, that one. I've just got a bit of uh, clear resin and I'm just going to wipe it down the sides of these um, these works. Yeah, I think these works would look really nice in a, a box frame um, and you, you wouldn't really have to do the edges if you didn't want to but um, I'm going to finish them off uh, because I'm not going to put a frame around them unless I sell them. But I think a, oh, this is not the right size frame but I think a box frame would look fantastic around them though. That would finish them off really nicely. So, it's something for the future. We have a ripple. So that's what I've called. So there's a really lovely sense of like a pool, pool of water, and a ripple. A lovely, really beautiful, shiny finish and a nice edge. So it's quite thick, but I do think a box frame would look really nice around it, just the white box frame. And this is the other one. So this one is called Folds. And it's the same, it's got a really nice, lovely, thick edge. I used quite a bit of, I did use quite a lot of resin doing these. Um, but, you know, really sort of interesting effect. Now both of these would look quite stunning on the wall. As you know, it's very hard to photograph these. Anyway, I hope that um, I hope you like them. If you're interested in any of my works, please go to the website in the description and there's a contact 
form that you can um, contact me via or there is also a price list. Some of my works may not be on the price list um, in time so if there's something you like that's not there just contact me through the contact form. And please please like like my videos um, and and subscribe so that you get to see more of the experiments. So this is experiment uh, number one and two and there are more coming. Thank you for watching. See you next time.